On Thursday, Scenic Hudson along with Riverkeeper, the Hudson River Sloop Clearwater, the Sierra Club Atlantic Chapter, and NRDC filed a petition with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency urging it to reconsider its cleanup for the Upper Hudson River of GE's PCBs. Uh, this cleanup is a project that was ordered by EPA back in 2002 and a dredging project began in 2009 and just this year, earlier this year in 2015, GE has pulled up stakes in the Hudson River, but it's done so prematurely. GE has done a good job of removing PCBs where it's removed them, however, new information calls into serious question whether the original goals of the cleanup, which essentially are to allow fish to be eaten by the people who live and uh, recreate along the Hudson River, are going to be reached within the time frames EPA thought they would be reached. Um, a far more extensive PCB contamination has been found than EPA thought back in 20. 2002, I'm sorry, and that's the main reason why the goals are not going to be reached. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and Fish and Wildlife Service, two sister agencies to EPA, have uh, done a new analysis looking at the true extent of contamination in the Upper Hudson River and the true now known decay rates of PCBs, and what they have found is that rather than being able to eat the fish in the Hudson River in the next couple of years, five years to 10 years, depending on um, what the goal is. Now we're looking at not being able to eat the fish in the Hudson River from between uh, 45 to 65 years from now. Ooh. So this is generations longer. We're not talking about a couple of years, a little tweak uh, to the modeling projections. Um, this is you know, unequivocally clear to us that um, the goals of this cleanup will not be reached and there absolutely needs to be more done. EPA's got a duty to look at this new information, seriously evaluate it, and we think to then order more dredging by GE. And so this, is, this petition asks EPA to do just that.